Welcome to the second module of our SCT training sessions. In this module, we introduce the concept of a state machine, which is one of the advanced features provided by the state configurable timer. This is a small snapshot of what the web community says about state machines. There are a lot of different sources of information on this subject, but unfortunately no unique way of describing such a concept. Still, we'll try to find some common terminology in order to understand how to apply this concept to the state configurable timer. This is what Wikipedia says about state machines. In this generic description, we have highlighted the relevant keywords which are of interest. A state machine is a behavioral model. It describes how a system will behave in a graphical way. It describes the system by means of a flow graph, which is composed of different states. The graph shows how the system can evolve between those states by means of defined transitions. Each of the transitions depends on a certain input condition. Each transition can have an effect on the system by changing an output condition, changing the state within the diagram, or changing the internal configuration of the system. So the key takeaway points for a state machine definition are recalled above. A state machine is made of states, inputs, outputs and transitions between the states. It can be represented in a flow graph and it defines the behavior model for a system. Let's look now at an example. This diagram, which is part of a bigger flow chart, details a state machine transition. In this diagram we see a transition called X which lets our state machine evolve from state called A to state B. This transition is defined to happen only when the system is in state A and the condition which we called Y is true. When this transition happens the output called Z gets cleared to the logic level 0. How can we map all those functionalities to the hardware resources available within the SCT? States. For a specific state machine, the concept of state number is kept in a dedicated state register within the SCT peripheral. Each timer within the SCT has its own state machine register. A change in the state register will be possible only because a defined event happens and this same event is programmed to perform a state change. This configuration is specified in the event control register. The next training module will go into more details about the SCT hardware resources. Inputs. The inputs used for creating the events are also being specified within the event control register. There is one event control register for each hardware event available. Outputs. The outputs are driven by events and which event drives which output is specified in the set and clear registers of the SCT. Events. An event is a hardware resource which is programmed to drive outputs and defines the transitions within the state machine. For specifying what an event does, the event control register needs to be programmed. To define in which states the event is active, the event state mask register needs to be programmed. In this module we discussed what the concept of a state machine is. This will be useful to help us understanding the concept behind the SCT implementation. In the next module we'll go through a detailed description of the hardware resources of the SCT. This will help us to understand how the hardware works before moving to the next topic in this series.
which will be an application programming example. Thanks for attending this training. Now we are ready to proceed to the next one.